Hello and welcome to Never Ending Nightmares. Now, if you remember, if you've been around for a while, I have played the demo. So now this is the game. I thought it's my birthday. I'll treat myself. I'll uh, go with Never Ending Nightmares. Oh. Okay, so. I'm not sure how far into the game this is, so I may cut straight to after the demo if this is going to run through like the demo at the start. Okay, I'm in here. Can I interact with this area? No, can't go through there. So we'll head on through this door. Let's just test some if that's how you run. Okay. Fair enough. Is it the bathroom? What's it like in the bathroom? Nothing significant in here. So we'll go around here. Into this room. That's a lovely picture. Oh, this is different to the demo. Let's wrap for that object. Oh, this is pretty. Guess that's his family. He looks like a small boy. It's just like the slightly coloured objects you interact with. So, doorknob's good. Try the doorknob. Let's head along here. I can interact with this picture by the looks of it. A nobleman with a beer. Not a noble. It's just clashy. Okay, what's in here? The library. Ooh, this is definitely different. Fair enough so far. It's a Bible. Okay. Running. I just like, uh, walk in. <laughs> so lazy. Wow, that is a lovely picture. Like a turkey or something? Well, it's got no gobble gobble on it. You know that, that thing? So, what's happening here? Okay, it's just dark. There was something there though. For sure. with that. Okay. Let's go into this room. A bit of jelly on the table, a bit of bread, mm, a bit of meat. A handsome man. Who goes there? Who are you? Uh, oh, okay. No, it's a meat grinder. That's fine. It's a meat grinder, that's not a brain. And there's blood dripping over here. It's okay. That's, that's real life, these things happen. You cut your meat, it all gets a little bit bloody. That's fine. You should have cleaned up though, because you're probably going to get some sort of food poisoning. It's a pretty door. Oh, we're outside. Oh. Now I'm suddenly a little bit uncomfortable. In fact, I'm getting the shivers. Why? What's outside? Uh, uh, owls? These trees, though, you're already menacing. Look at the hands on them. I don't like that either. I see faces in the trees. What's this dark space down here? A graveyard. Oh, look, we live next to a graveyard. Lovely place to go walking at a night. 
I tell you what, Bob, we'll go for a stroll in the graveyard. Who's this? This looks like I should be looking at this. Gabby, no. His sister. You're oh, that's who the girl me. is. You promised we'd meet for breakfast. Huh. Oh. Are you okay? You look upset. I'm sorry. I, I just had a terrible nightmare. I dreamt you were dead. <laughs> that's silly. I'm fine. Besides, you always promised you'd take care of your little sister. Well, that was when we were kids. It's still true, isn't it? Yeah. Why don't you try to get back to sleep? I'll wait outside. Oh. Okay. So is this dream now or reality? Skull painting. This game is based on the experience of the maker's depression. Who's this fella? I'm gonna call him Reginald. We've got Reginald there. Reginald. The girl's room that is. Is it Gabby's room? that cabin? The basement. I should probably head down to the basement, right? It's lit this time. Last time it wasn't lit at all. Huh. Slowly does it, man. Slowly does it. Okay, it's still dark. Ah, I get it. Last time we didn't have the whole motion of walking down the stairs, but something happened here. And I went and got back in my bed. I got attacked. There we go. So that's the same sequence. Apart from the whole Gabby bit. Go through this door this time. And yeah, this is the same sequence. There was blood in the sink. Oh, it's teeth. Eee. Ah, oh, it's been pulling teeth. Okay, so we'll head back through here and out into the corridor again. Into the landing. I guess. I guess it's upstairs in this room. It must be a very big bungalow. We've got a lot of rooms in this house. Got a lot of rooms. Seems like there's many people living here. So we're back in that room again with Reginald. Okay. Thanks, Reginald. There's another picture of Reginald there. Looks like Gabby. The bloke and Gabby. The basement doesn't love you. You go down this dark corridor instead. That's still all boarded up there. Okay. So around here. It's a very large house. I'm walking through this door. So this is a child's room. Little boy's room. The dolls don't look menacing at the minute. I swore last time the dolls changed. Why does it, it spells murder, these blocks on the floor? See that? M U R D E R. Murder. Excellent. There's nothing in this thing. There's a teddy bear on the floor. This is the girls' room. I didn't like it because I swear the dolls were menacing. No, they do a lot of medicine now. Like that one, there's that, that picture of the girl with a doll on her head. It's like lying on the floor like they're dead and stuff. Uh, can you hear that weeping? That sounds like Gabby. So we go back down the dark corner. It's dark around here. Reginald, nice to see you. That's that doll, you see, with the thing on its head. I should have remembered that from the demo. I didn't. <laughs> like, whose hands are those on the shoulder? I don't like that. It's a bit creepy. Back on 
this corner. Where do we go now? Why Okay. So, we have this gentleman. Bertram. This is Bertram. So we've got Reginald and Bertram. Babes. What's that on the floor there? Well, it's nothing in here to interact with. Keep on heading down this way. And into the store, there's going to be something in here to interact with. Oh! It's a, a, a room of rooms. I remember this room. This is where I found the light. Was it? Oh no, I went into the room next door, get the light. You can see there's something red on but behind me there. That is the room of rooms. How do I get back out of the bloody room? I can't see. There we go. So this one should have a candle in it for me. It's a laughing voice. I don't love the laughing voice. Candle. There we go. Head into that room. And we head. My god, why have you forsaken me? And it's his own body stabbed. Some crows? Uh, like, often. Ravens, isn't it? Or crows. Well, similar bad luck. Head out the door. It's completely black now. Oh, a little bit of thunder, how convenient. Oh! Did you see her? Bitch. <laughs> Dark corner. I think we head to the basement. Come on. He looks so slow. I don't really want to make him run because he gets scared and all panicky when I make him run. I feel bad for making him run. But, hi, Mr. the window dweller. It's quiet down here. Hello, Dolly. This part of the house isn't as scary. The pictures aren't as scary. Just like a lot of landscapes and stuff like that. Bit of, bit of gammon. But here it's gone creepy again. You've got your... Yeah, it's a basement. Here we go. Let's get down there. This is, I think, where I end up in the white room. I think. So this is like a sister hanging or something weird like that. What's the blood? Ah, yes. Oh, I remember this bit. I pick it up. I pick this up now. Don't I? That's why I might pick this up. I picked up the axe. Well, that's it. Press the wrong button. And I should go to bed. <laughs> oh no, I'm the last time. Oh boy. Pick up my axe. Oh boy. That's new. Uh uh, uh. Oh, the lights going off behind me. Yep. Yeah. This was sure part of the thick ones. Bin, creeping, creeping. It's a weird 
rattling. It's like a cat's collar. It's rattling in my right ear. It's weird. Are they footsteps? Oh god. Oh, it's moving into the other ear now. It's moving around me. Oh, that's weird. That's why they want their headphones in. Is that coat stand always there with the umbrella? I don't know now. I'm questioning myself. I use the axe to break down the front door. I remember this now. <coughs> ah, that was actually on the front door, of course. And this is where the nightmare really unfolds. I, you know, apart from tearing out the veins on my arms or whatever. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did, and I'll see you next time. So until then, goodbye.